Elephant ancestors originated in Africa, just like ours. Their descendants, among them mammoths, went out of Africa to inhabit other continents. And in the process they evolved the largest brain of any land animal. It is believed that the ability adapt to a variety of different environments allowed elephants to evolve about 50 to 60 million years ago. Some of them lived in the rainforests while others resided in the desert. They are still considered to be one of the most adaptable animals in the world. Elephants belong to the order Proboscidea, animals with trunks. Elephants evolved primarily in the Old World and came to North America during a series of migrations. The immigrant elephants evolved into new North American forms but ultimately all these elephants were extinct by 10,000 years ago. Ancestors of the elephant are as follows, Morotherium, Amoeba Lauden, Deinotherium, Gomphotherum, Stegotetrabalodon, Stegodon, Mastadons, Mammoths, Elephas Antiquus, and the modern-day elephants, the African and Asian elephant. So let's start. We will do a size comparison with a 6 feet human so that you understand the height of the prehistoric animals. Morotherium is a genus of animals that are ancestors of elephants. Morotherium was named after Lake Morris combined with ancient Greek. They existed in North America and lived during the Eocene period 37 to 35 million years ago. They were about 2.4 meters long and weighing about 90 kilograms. The shape of their teeth suggests that they ate soft water vegetation. The shape of the skull suggests that, while Morotherium did not have an elephant-like trunk, it may have had a broad flexible upper lip like a tapirs for grasping aquatic vegetation. The reason why these animals went extinct was because of climate change and human interference, hunting. Mebelodon is a genus of extinct proboscidean belonging to Amoebelodontidae, a group of proboscideans related to the modern elephants, and their close relative the mammoth. The Amoebalodon was the prototypical, shovel-toothed elephant of the late Miocene epoch. This giant herbivore's two lower tusks were flat, close together, and near the ground, the better to dig up semi-aquatic plants from the North American floodplains where it lived, and perhaps to scrape the bark off tree trunks. They existed from a 5 million year old site in North America. Weighing as much as 22,000 pounds, and 8 to 10 feet, it is likely that Amoebalodon was a versatile browser, an animal that eats broad-leaved plants rather than grass, feeding in both wet and dry settings in a variety of ways. The length of the trunk is not known, but this elephant is usually depicted with a relatively short, broad trunk. Amoebalodon first appeared in the Great Plains and Gulf Coast regions of North America during the late Miocene, roughly 9 million years ago, and apparently became extinct on this continent sometime around 6 million years ago. Deinotherium is a genus of animals that are ancestors of elephants, that resemble elephant more than animals of the genus Morotherium. They lived between the Miocene to the modern period, in Africa, Asia, and Europe in the 10 million years ago to 10,000 years ago, they were about 6 meters long and weighing about 10,886 kilograms. Deinotherium had, odd, downward pointed tusks, in the lower jaws that were used to strip leaves off branches. It also had a flat forehead and a very short trunk. They lived in forested environments eating vegetation, mainly from trees. They may have died out due to severe, relatively abrupt climate changes which saw their habitat become too dry.
Unlike modern elephants, Gomphotherium had two sets of tusks. One coming from their upper jaw, and one from the lower jaw. They existed what is now North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa, during the Miocene to Pliocene period, about 15 to 10 million years ago. They were about 3.9 meters long, and about 4,535 kilograms, although most of them probably had a mixed diet of many different kinds of vegetation, their platter teeth may have been specially adapted for feeding on the grasses, that became widespread in the world's ecosystems. They had lost the enamel on their upper tusks, lost or severely reduced their lower tusks, and had mixed browsing but also grazing diets. These genera went extinct rather recently in the Holocene, during the Ice Ages 12,000 to 10,000 years ago. Stegotetrabalodon is an extinct primitive elephant, with gomphotherum-like, anatomical features, they also had two sets of tusks, one coming from their upper jaw and one from the lower jaw, but longer in size. They used this long pair of tusks to protect them from predators. They existed during the late Miocene to early Pliocene of Africa and Eurasia. They have undergone tremendous shifts from grazing to mixed feeding, they may have extinct out due to severe and relatively abrupt climate changes. Stegodon, meaning, roofed tooth, because of the distinctive ridges on the animal's molars. It was assigned to the family Elephantidae. They existed from 11 million years ago, to as recently as 6,000 years ago, in Asia, Africa and even North America. They were 12.7 feet tall, and would have weighed approximately 12.7 tons. Their diet were mostly depended on grazing. Pleistocene species of Stegodon were widely dispersed throughout continental and island Southeast Asia, but became globally extinct by the terminal Pleistocene, on both the mainland, and on the islands. Mastodon belonged to the extinct genus Mammoth, that inhabited North and Central America, during the late Miocene or late Pliocene. Their extinction was at the end of the Pleistocene 10,000 to 11,000 years ago. Mastodons were smaller than mammoths. Similar in size to modern-day elephants with a height of 7 feet, adult mastodons weighed as much as 5,443 kg. The distinctive teeth of the mastodon might be as useful to grind the small branches of trees as to chaw flesh. Fossil evidence indicates that mastodons probably disappeared from North America about 10,500 years ago, as part of a mass extinction of most of the Pleistocene megafauna that is widely believed to have been a result of human hunting pressure. The mammoth or the mammothus is the most commonly known elephant ancestor. Woolly mammoths only went extinct thousands of years ago, unlike the first three ancestors. They existed between 5 million to 4,500,000 years ago, during the Pliocene to Holocene period, where what is now North America, Europe and Asia. They were about 6 meters tall, and weighing about 6,433 kg. Their diet included conifer twigs and cones, leaves, coarse grasses, mosses, and swamp plants. Most woolly mammoths went extinct roughly 10,000 years ago, amid a warming climate and widespread human hunting. Elephas antiquus was a straight-tusked elephant. It's an extinct species of elephant that inhabited Europe and Western Asia during the Middle and Late Pleistocene. Recovered individuals have reached up to 4 to 4.2 meters in height and an estimated 11.3 to 15 tons in weight. Its dietary habits changed, depending on food supply across the seasons, browsing in spring and summer and grazing in autumn and winter. Maple, hornbeam, hazelnut, alder, ash, peach and ivy were consumed. The straight tusked elephant became extinct in Britain near the beginning of the Wyxillian glaciation about 115,000 years ago. Antiquus likely survived until around 28,000 years ago in the southern Iberian Peninsula, based on footprints. This brings us to the end of the evolution of elephants so far. Loxodonta or modern elephant are last seen evolution of elephants. There are two variants of this, one the African elephants which are found in Africa, and the Asian elephants from Asia, while African elephants are bigger in size than their Asian cousins. The easiest way to distinguish African elephants from Asian elephants is to look at the years.
African elephants have much larger ears that look sort of like the continent of Africa, while Asian elephants have smaller, round ears. African elephants and Asian elephants also differ in head shape. Only some male Asian elephants have tusks, while both male and female African elephants grow tusks. African elephants have fuller, more rounded heads. The top of the head is a single dome whereas Asian elephants have a twin domed head with an indent in the middle. The lower lips of the two species also differ, being long and tapered in Asian elephants and short and round in Africans. So this is it, I hope you enjoyed, and it was a fruitful learning for you, to know about the topic, evolution of elephants. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if you have any questions and queries, and I will be happy to answer them. So if you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. My channel has all the flavors from unboxing to educational animated videos. If you like my content, feel free to press the bell icon and activate the notifications so that you don't miss any update. Also, I see 90% of my viewers are not my subscribers. Well, think about it. Till then, bye-bye, stay safe and take care of yourself.